the highway. That feels good. All right, guys, look. Look at this, this is a highway. One lane going in one direction, another lane coming in the other direction, divided by these little plastic, what are these? Wombly sticks. They're rubber. You can ride right over them. They will not damage your car if you rode right over that. That's all that's dividing these two lanes of highway. So when you get out to the countryside, there are little stretches of highway where it's just one lane going in one direction, one going in the other direction. Um, and you pay for this, yeah. You pay for it. You pay to get on here. It's not a freeway, it's a highway. There are tolls. And when you get when we get to some other bigger sections, one of the, some of the main arteries heading into Tokyo and out, there will be, you know, three, four lanes going in each direction, but there are a few that are like this. But the Japanese highways are very smooth. You gotta, you gotta give it to them. Look at this. It is so smooth and not a speck of dirt on it. You couldn't, like, you know, I can't see any gravel or sand or anything. There's nothing. It's clean. And of course, we pay for that too. That's right. There are road taxes and all that. We pay for it. But... I'm pretty happy with how smooth the roads are. I look at, I've looked at some other videos of people on highways and, you know, it's not this clean. In the States, I don't think it's this clean. I mean, from what I remember and from some of the videos that I've seen too, there's a lot more... The roads there seem a lot more abrasive, actually. <laughs> not to say that you want to be going down on any road, but if I went down on some of the other roads that I've seen on YouTube. I think I would lose a bit more off of my jacket. Good. All right, guys, so since we're on, a, on the highway, uh, I wanted to ask you guys, I mean, you've seen a little bit of the Japanese highway. I'm gonna take you on to, we're going to merge with the Shuto coming up soon. The Shuto highway basically means it's the capital highway the Tokyo hi main highway and it, there's a C1 which is a circular route one which kind of loops around all through Tokyo. I know some guys will get on the highway and they'll just ride in circles. I mean they'll ride that circular route you know over and over just because they want to get some highway time and, and I don't know if we'll actually get onto the C1. We might take one of the other routes of the Shuto highway that kind of bypass it. But that C1 is crazy in my opinion. They threw that highway up with a little planning and uh, it was for the 1950 whatever Olympics that were held in Tokyo, right? And now we're four years away from the 2020 Olympics that will all start, you know, the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. And it was supposed to be temporary, that, that highway setup. They, they threw it up in a hurry. They wanted to get the transportation set, you know, set up so that people could move. But man, it's crazy. It just, it, it, there, there are so many on and off ramps right around corners that, you know, it, it's not for the faint hearted and it's not for beginner riders for sure. So guys, here's a fancy toilet. Fancy Japanese toilet. Looking pretty good. And I'm Tower. I think um, if I'm getting this right, 
the cities, the roads are made in a confusing manner to confuse invading clans or armies. So it's kind of continued on like that and, and those roads and, and the cities and, and the main areas have just been continued to be used in the same way, not exactly, but sort of, just built bigger and and so the buildings are kind of just, it's not a, it's not like a beautifully planned city, it's not a new modern city, it's an old city that's kind of grown bigger and bigger and the highways just have to deal with the confusion and, and they kind of wind and twist and wrap around all these buildings and under some buildings and things like that so you'll find it's quite a twisty <laughs> highway and there's a lot of turns and a lot of junctions like this where it splits off and then it merges and things like that so if you're going to be going on this highway you'll definitely want a good navigation system and you'll kind of want to even before you get on know the basic route like where where you're going to be merging where you're going to be splitting off and things like that so so it won't be so stressful for you